Yeah. Yeah. Awesome. I'm gonna end with a song that uh, that's really really long, but I like to play it, so I'm going. I'm going yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>
Don't be afraid, cause we're not. You'll always be okay, because we'll always be
You saw nothing. <coughs> you saw nothing. <coughs> uh, <coughs> uh, <coughs> How is everybody? Oh, I dude, I'm rushing. Like I'm rushing. Also, low viewer count start. So strap in. Everybody knows what that means. Uh, uh, it is Kaiser. Um, it's a hand blown. It's got an inverted diffuser pyramid contained within the base. And then it's got an eight arm percolator tree. Um, that is a contrasted cobalt blue, um, tree in the top. And then a, another cobalt blue ice catch slash diffuser at the very top. Um, so yeah, yeah, it's, it's, it's a piece. I, I often forget sometimes for myself included, um, that if I load a bowl and somebody like smokes it, that they're in for a whole thing. <laughs> like I often forget what its capacity is and what it can do to a person. So, uh, and like I said, from time to time, myself is, myself is included in that. Um, let's see. Let's just do that. Got my pre-roll poverty pittance overnight. See, when you say pre-roll in this in this part of the world, Gemma, we automatically go to a joint. Um <laughs> Jesus. What's up, Tech? Um Boom, let's see. That's uh a very decorative uh incense burner you got there, Kai. Yes, caboose. It's it's an incense burner. Um Got my uh, pre uh, oh pre poll not pre roll I just automatically see pre roll, um, <laughs> I, I oh I yeah I got there just before you Gemma, um I I reread it I was like oh that's not roll huh pre poll poverty pittance overnight basically a two hundred and fifty dollar bribe our government gives to the poor's. Uh, it's already gone <laughs> on a power bill and a new office chair because the base of the current one is falling apart <laughs> and kaiser wait who got pre-rolls fucking kaiser uh let's see and hey there aspen exactly um so tonight i have um i actually have some game planned uh but it's twitch integrated and you guys get to participate um and it's the trolley problem incorporated game which look it's got its flaws from a philosophical standpoint. I have critiques, but what it boils down to is deontologists versus utilitarians. The, the answers are pretty much deontological and utilitarian. Um, that, 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 that sort of is how the entirety of the game breaks down from a philosophical standpoint. But there's citations and there's reading that you can do associated with it and that sort of thing. But I figure it'd be interesting for a bunch of us degenerate anarchist fucks to de attempt to deal with the trolley problem in so many of its iterations. Um, so you guys will get to vote. Um, I'll get final say. Sorry. <laughs> we, could, we could turn it into if you just want to do consensus. Look, if you guys just want to do consensus and... <sighs> Fuck, fuck the whole streamer dynamic. I'm for like I can turn on consensus. Like you guys, you guys can just vote, and that'll decide it. So we can we can just do it as a group. Um, all votes are equal. So, uh, we can turn that mode on. Um, I I you know, we'll see. I. Uh. Uh, to derail the tra derail the tram car. Well, what if there's, what if there's fifteen? What if the trolley Gemma has fifteen children on it, plus an expectant mother, plus a Nobel Prize winning scientist who specializes in cancer research? What if derailing that trolley could could end up snuffing out m multiple future uh, futures? Fuck them kids. Yes, but what about the um, scientist? 
the end of the day, everyone is a participant in the actual heat of the moment in a moral dilemma, but people just say they're utilitarian because they parrot their favorite streamer. That's one of the most reductive statements I've heard in a while. To be perfectly honest, the majority of people I've met in my life wouldn't even know what utilitarianism is, even though a vast majority of them would probably ascribe to a mixture of deontological uh, aspirations and utilitarian calculus. Yeah, like that's, that's, dude, that is, that is a highly reductive statement that is arguably off base to start with but at the very least lacks a sincere degree of nuance that should be introduced into a conversation such as that. But either way, we'll get around to trolley problem. Um, it'll be fun. Or at least it should be fun as long as some fuckers understand it's the After Dark show, and if you don't have a beer or a smoke in you, and you're taking life way too seriously right now, just, you know... Heads up, the rest of us all. Um, so I found, oh God, he's making absolutist state, almost near absolutist, 99 point, I don't care. I just don't care. Um, I found a fascinating cult, the Word of Faith Ministry. I believe it is called. Um, they're based out of North Carolina. Uh, a Word of Faith Fellowship. Word of Faith Fellowship. And <clears throat> somebody posted their welcome packet. Somebody scanned. Somebody scanned their welcome packet, and there's five pages of insanity. Um. And apparently these fuckers are full on cult, like full on cult. Um, you'll see with the, the welcome, welcome package. I'll, I'll throw it on the screen. We'll go through it. I want to go through the whole thing. Dude, the whole thing's insane. Um, it's, you're not even, just wait. So yeah, these, these fuckers like require 10% of your, uh, of your income and they'll check your fucking finances regularly. But they've got insane stuff above and beyond. <clears throat> so we will, uh, yeah, we'll we'll pop into their their welcome packet um, for a bit. And let me see if I can't get these fuckers lined up. That way we can just do what's necessary. Um. This is just stupid. This is just stupid. This is just stupid. This is going to get weird and repetitive. And I'm I'm in for the whole thing, by the way. This is not a short list. I'm willing to do the whole thing. If you're along for this nutty-ass ride, then uh, I'm along for the nutty-ass ride as well. Um... So they're like a secretive church in North Carolina that like completely takes over it's standard cult practices. Only they believe their their thing is that they're one of the true Christians, right? Like it's the same sort of cult Christian Christian cult group spin. They all believe that they're like, well, we're the true Christians, right? Like they're doing they're doing Christian Christianity wrong. We're doing it right. Heathens. Saviors of mankind, God's chosen people, right? Like that's the shtick. Only it's run by this wife and a uh, husband combo, and it got started back in the like seventies, apparently. And it's seed faith shit. It's seed faith. They're living high on the hog, um, but they also like to really control their members. Um, and so you'll um, is this you'll you'll get a feel for it really, really fucking quickly. Um, uh, where is this madness in North Carolina? Um, I mean, hold on. 
They are. Oh, by the way, here you gotta see. You gotta see their fucking. You gotta see their fucking website. Hold on. This is their website. Here we go. Here's Jane and uh, Sam. Jane and Sam. They they run Word of Faith. That's 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 who is, this is. But this is their up and comer, Brock Webster. He's he's the young hot shit who's clearly being gr like groomed to be the next in line. Right, so he's he's their pole. Check the eyes. Check the eyes. Um, all right. So this is their. You know, um, for those of you, uh, I will point out. Um, I will point out it. This website is a color scheme that's very similar to NX, uh, xnxx.com. I'm just saying. Um, <clears throat> so it's, it's an interesting website, uh, to boot. Um, so let's go through some of the rules here. Welcome to word of faith fellowship. Let us take this opportunity to thank you for considering membership in word of faith fellowship. Jane Whaley approved of your membership and asked for you to be given this new member handout. In this handout, we will list a few of the very important rules, do's and don'ts. Your enjoyment of your time with us will mainly be determined on how well you can keep these rules. Straight up. Straight up. We will make your life a living hell. Uh, by the way, when I say living hell, I mean living hell. Uh, they apparently, one of the core beliefs is that Jane believes there are very real devils wandering the earth. Like you will be infected by a devil. Devils just exist. And one will get in you, and that's the cause of your aberrant behavior. So, yeah, Gemma, you may want to you may want to hold that opinion till I finish this statement. So, many of the 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 what's all black? Uh, many of the uh, maladies that you will suffer as a human being <clears throat> um, are directly attributable to devils that have. There is a devil in you, um, up to and including homosexuality, cancer, multiple sclerosis, you know, these sorts of things. So, yes, Zippy, of course, pointing out it is now time for exorcism. Um, and over the years, um, there has a pattern been shown. Apparently, Jane used to be, you know, the sort of like throw some water on him and chant some shit kind of exorcist. These days, she's more a group of men hold you down to the fucking floor and beat you senseless and kick you in the nuts to try to exercise that homosexual devil or, that, you know, yeah, it's they're, they're a little more, let's say, hands on about it these days. Um. <laughs> Tech support, I 100% support this. Um, so how many of their members have you been in, guys, Gemma? <sighs> Is that only a couple? Um, get to you that's the cause of your behavior in the shape of a fist, human puppel, the puppet? Ah, you know, I wish, but no, no. Um, fucking. So let's go back. Anyway, um, should, should, do you, do you guys want me to address genius over here? I mean, we could break the momentum and address this, but I mean, you know, um, I don't give a shit really. Um, okay, cool. So dues. You will be required to attend every service. If for some reason unforeseen at this time you miss a service, you will be required to listen to the tape at the church. Death, severe illness, and surgery may be considered excused absences. Two, you will be required to tithe 10% of your gross earnings and give offerings. Okay, so it's there's there's also like there's presents and like ceremonial offerings, right? On top the ten percent off your gross, not your net. Jane will check your records from time to time. 
Um, so, you know, if you're trying to fudge that, you might want to keep a separate sec- set of books for your church, right? Like these motherfuckers going to be up in your shit like the IRS. So they're going to check those numbers. <clears throat> Marcus, the attorney, not net. Holy fuck. Yeah, dude, it's fucking gross. They're taking 10% tithing gross right off the top. You will be required to smile on command. This is called keeping your happy face. You have to smile on demand. Keep on your happy face. I mean, smile, bitch. Four. You will be required to participate in group work projects. Enjoy it. We have need of many skills. Oh, yeah. Are you an electrician? You'll be doing electrical work for us now. Oh, you're a general contractor. That's brilliant. We have a new addition that we need done on the back. Straight up. Straight up. That's how they do it. Yeah, it's it's hardcore you will be required to participate in group projects enjoy it we have need of many skills this is dude this is this is you know five see this is the thing at some point i'll pick up the pace because you have no idea we're only on five five after each service you will be required to clean the church and fellowship hall on a rotating basis yeah we don't pay for janitors that's you people Oh, I forgot. Don'ts. Now we start the insanity. This is where the insanity has begun. Don'ts. This is a partial living list. At times, it takes on a life of its own, continuing to grow. Oh, and grow. Grow it shall, my, my, my little anarchistic brethren. Oh, yes. This, this list is going to first irritate the shit out of you then bewilder you and then just straight up you're you're gonna at some point be you just be asking questions don't drink alcohol beer wine and liquor don't cook with alcohol don't eat at places that serve alcohol don't drink root beer don't drink cheer wine registered trademark somebody at cheer wine pissed somebody off don't drink diet cheer wine don't drink g- ginger ale don't smoke cigarettes don't dip snuff don't chew tobacco don't associate willingly that those uh, uh, with those that do use tobacco for the weight uh, for the vape smokers amongst us you will notice they do not say nicotine they say tobacco so the vape smokers amongst us you guys are fine just so you know you're you're good also you're gonna <clears throat> notice there are no drugs beyond alcohol and tobacco on this list ecstasy heroin cannabis None of that. None of that's on this list. So if you're not a drinker and you don't use tobacco, basically it's you're good actually. They do not say this at any point. They're not left off. I mean, they're, you know. No, crack crack is not whack apparently according to the Word of Faith Fellowship. So, um <clears throat> Don't watch movies unless Jane gives approval. Don't watch videos in your car. Don't enter a movie theater unless Jane gives approval. Don't uh, fucking don't read newspapers. Not even the headlines, bitches. We know how you operate. Not even the headlines. Don't listen to the radio. Don't read or handle magazines. Read or handle. Okay. That's 17. All right. <clears throat> Don't watch television except when allowed at church. You know they're going to show him some fucking Christian propaganda, God's not dead sort of shit, right? Don't read books that are not approved by leadership. Don't read your Bible too much. Amplified version is acceptable. Yes, they are encouraging their, their membership to not read the Bible too much. Let us interpret for you. Fucking don't take notes during service. Only record scripture references. Homie, homie, homie. They're saying don't take full notes. But, you know, do notate the scripture that we're talking about so you can go back and do your homework later. Just so you know there will be homework assigned. Don't forget to go to the bathroom before service. Do not get up. Don't go. Uh, don't get up to go to the bathroom during uh, service. Don't bring knives of any type on church property. Just FYI. No guns are mentioned if I do recall. 
Um, I have gone through this list. This list is insane. I do not believe they mention guns. They do mention knives, though. So, I mean, again, you know, if you just want to shoot up some heroin, you know, be strapped, you're good with the, the with the word of faith fellowship, apparently. I'm just based off their own list. Based on their own list. Uh, I would suggest then you get a catheter and a, 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 a bag. Get a Foley and a bag, Zippy. That's what they would tell you. Yeah. I, I could see that as an answer. Like, well, you're going to need to wear a diaper or you need to get a, get a fucking catheter. Yeah. Um, I'm pretty sure brass knuckles and pepper spray are in too. Yeah. Um, don't be late for a service of any function. Okay. Never, never. You're never late. Never late. Leave a billion hours earlier if that's what you got to do, bitch. Do not. This is where it gets crazy. This is where it just goes off the rails, by the way. Don't park alongside the left of the sanctuary unless you are approved. Don't park in the spaces closest to the back step. Those are reserved for parents with infants. Yes, they do encourage breeding, but we'll get to that. Don't park in the first spot along the front sidewalk. That's reserved for those on watch. And don't park along the street. Use the field only when uh, not raining. Don't park on the drive to the school unless approved for that service. Don't park in the first handicapped space unless approved. Don't park under the awning. Leave, uh, leave your car running. Don't speed when driving around the church. Don't go opposite uh, to the accepted traffic flow of counterclockwise. It causes confusion. Don't be on your cell phone when approaching the school. Oh, did I mention they have a school? They have a school. They have a school. They have a school. They they built a school on their facility, so they have a school. Just so you know, they have a school. Um, don't be on your cell phone when approaching the school. Don't drive your car with expired tags. You will be reminded. Men, men, don't wear a color of dress shirt except white or a light blue. By the way, you will be wearing dress shirts from now on. That's just, just, that's, but nothing other than white or light blue. Women, don't get your heart set on a dress. You will be wearing dresses until you check with others to see if any of anyone else has that dress. You may need to return yours. So, just so you know, yeah, women. Uh, you will be cross-checking your dress purchases with the other women in the congregation, and they will have veto power on whether you get to buy that dress or not, basically. <clears throat> uh, don't check out during the singing. Um, <laughs> Marcus. Um, <laughs> solid point, Gemma. Um, yes, um, they they're, don't get into the singing too much. Yeah, that's that's what that boils down to. Don't get into the singing too much. Um, don't look around at others when you're supposed to be singing. I don't know. Eyes ahead. Um, fuck it. Don't close your eyes when singing. You could give over to a religious devil. Okay? Are you paying attention now? Don't close your eyes when singing. You could give over to a religious devil. Just this fucking room of just... Just creepy, white, psycho-fundamentalist Christians staring straight ahead, not enjoying the singing, just just doing the singing, but not trying to get there, trying to remain conscious of the whole time. Like, dude, it's... It's weird. It's weird. It's culty, right? It's straight-up culty. You're like, no, this is classic cult behavior. Like, this is what the fuck, man? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a rules creepy pasta. I mean, it is it's straight up. Um, they do want you to sing like you're in a Bethesda game. Did you see that shit, Caboose? About uh, uh, Elder uh, Elder Skulls too. Bethesda put it up and smelled their own fucking game name wrong. Good old Bethesda. <clears throat> okay. What's up, AJ? Uh, love it, love it. Enjoy your lurk. We'll be playing Trolley Problem Incorporated after this. Um, are they doing a study on aneurysms and the overstressed? So the spirit of Christ moves me as a religious devil. Yes, Sippy. Remember when I said at the top of this about how they believe they're just better Christians? Like they're they're the ones doing it correct. All all them. Religious devils. Religious devils. <clears throat> Gemma, don't stare at visitors unless they're religious devils, in which case you must stare at them to prevent them from entering gen uh, you gently from, well, not behind. 
Ah, uh, it's like 36. Um, in 2010, this town's population was 4321 people in an area just over 5.3 square miles in the Appalachians at an elevation of uh, 1,000 around 1,000 feet. Um, okay, don't bring your cell phone into service. Exceptions are rare, and you will be told when you can bring your cell phone bring your phone into service. Don't take pictures during a regular service. Don't make your own recordings of a service. Don't bring visitors unless you tell someone in the office they can so they can tell Jane. Don't take pictures of Jane of uh, uh, of other members unless you are given permission. Don't be loose with your camera at any time. Don't put large amounts of cash in offering unless it is in an envelope. This is where this is where it starts getting interesting. Don't um don't complain when the offering plates are passed around uh, passed more than once. Yes, those offering plates will be passed around multiple times during service. Don't allow your toddlers to eat in the sanctuary. Don't bring snacks of dark drinks or chocolate. There's something going on there. There's something going on there, right? Like that, that's a thing. That's a thing. Jane, Jane and Sam had some fucking like, because they're considered prophets. They're considered prophets. They're considered prophets. God spoke to them. Like, ah, God spoke to them. So that's some shit. Jane, Jane or Sam was just like, fuck tea and coffee and like anything Coke. And you know what? Fuck all the dark drinks too. <laughs> like, I mean, that's some crazy shit that they prophetized, right? Don't bring snacks of dark drinks or chocolate. <clears throat> anything we can't pretend isn't vodka. <laughs> oh, told you. Told you. This list gets wacky. All right, don't chew gum in the sanctuary. Don't fall asleep during the services. If you get tired, take your Bible and stand up in the back of the sanctuary. Bitch, if you start nodding off, you better stand your fucking punk ass up. Go stand in the back so we know you're fucking tired too. Self-report. Oh, uh, Zippy, 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 and, uh, uh, yeah, uh, Zippy. We're on page three out of five. <laughs> <laughs> don't wear muddy shoes or boots into the sanctuary. Leave them at the door outside. Don't leave your tissues after services. Place them in the trash. Don't leave coats, Bibles, or personal belongings in the sanctuary. It gets locked after each service. Don't touch the thermostats in the church unless you are approved. Don't wear jeans. Exceptions may be for construction work. Maybe. Don't wear shorts. Don't wear sleeveless dresses or tops. Don't wear dresses above the knee. Don't wear a bathing suit without having it covered with long shorts below the knees and a dark t-shirt. Don't wear cargo pants. Don't wear or own anything with Nike on it. Nothing. You know, somebody got a fucking feather up their ass. Don't wear black tennis shoes. Don't wear high cut boot like tennis shoes. Men, don't wear white solid, oh, solid white tennis shoes. Don't wear a baseball cap sideways or backwards. Don't wear t-shirts with slogans or pictures. Don't wear muscle tees. Men, don't leave the house without a white t-shirt on, or uh, on under your top shirt. Don't go swimming with boys and girls together. You better keep that fucking separated. Gotta leave space for Christ. The spirit of God, the spirit of Christ has to, to fit between y'all. Fucking don't leave the pool toys out when you're done using the pool. So from like some weird spiritual, I want to control your life shit just down to like the mundane, like, hey, don't leave the, the pool toys out when you're done using the pool. It's fucking inconsiderate. Don't go outside without sunscreen daily, bitches. Men, don't allow facial hair to grow. No beards of any type. No pork chop sideburns. Men, don't let your hair get long or unkempt. Oh, shit. Jane's going to come fucking get me in my sleep. Don't interview for a job unless it is under authority. Don't accept a job unless you check it out with authority. Don't make plans for college unless you have Jane check it out. Don't sign up for classes unless Jane Whaley or leadership checks out your schedule. Don't buy a house unless Jane can check it out. Don't even make an offer on a house unless Jane can check out and get a feel for the neighborhood. Don't decorate your house unless Jane or her helper can help you. Don't buy a car without checking with Sam first. Don't sell a car or truck without checking with Sam first. You do understand that there's like back end scams with all this shit, right? 
like you understand, like it's all tied in. It's all it's all a fucking vertically integrated system. When they're telling you don't fucking accept a job, dude, they're trying to like control that net. Don't buy a house. Dude, she's got a realtor she wants you to go through, or she is the realtor, right? She's getting a cut. It's just like, oh, this house doesn't feel right. Maybe in this neighborhood, yes, this house is the right one. Dude, she's getting a cut on the back end. Sam is taking a cut on the auto sales and shit like that. Yes. Yes, Des Destinovas. Yes, Jane is the real estate agent. Sam is the used car salesman. Like, this is a fucking racket on top of everything else. <laughs> uh, okay, on to page four. <laughs> I warned you. Oh, uh, what's up, what? Start a cult to sell more cars. I know, right? Don't get major repairs done without checking with Sam. Dude, they've got a general contractor. Don't buy insurance without checking with the approved church source person for insurance. Dude, they've got a, an insurance agent. They're going to route you through. <laughs> I love this kind of craziness, Aspen. I love this kind of craziness. Oh, my God. Don't plan a vacation or time away with your family unless you check it out with Jane. She's got a fucking, like, she's got a vacation planner. I bet you. She's got some, like, timeshare that she's got in the Bahamas or some shit that she's going to fucking sell you for fucking, she's going to sublet to you. Dude, there's some sketchy-ass scam going on on the side for that, too. Don't assume you can go to the funeral or, or a wedding of a family member without checking it out and or someone from the church going with you. <laughs> AJ, it's all the same person too. Uh, Night, Karina, uh, or somebody in the community has to work for free. Exactly. Um, fucking don't celebrate Christmas. Okay, this is where we're back to the like profitizing. Like before, we were profitizing. Now we're profitizing, right? Don't celebrate Christmas. Don't give gifts to others unless you are under authority. Don't celebrate Easter. Don't celebrate on uh, don't uh, don't celebrate other holidays. Don't eat turkey on Thanksgiving. Don't celebrate your birthday or others in your family or group of friends or coworkers. Don't celebrate wedding anniversaries. Don't go hunting. Don't go fishing. Well, unless it is on approved ministry trip. Don't hunt or fish just for sport. Don't have bumper stickers on your car. Polit political season is an exemption. Uh, che, it is not. They are independent of the Jehovah's Witnesses. Um, they they probably frown upon. Um, political season is an exception. They you can have political you can have bumper stickers during political season when they want to make a statement about fucking yeah that's when that's when they're in. Oh, of course they're Republicans, Des. Of course they're Republicans. Um, don't have dingle dangles hang hanging from your rear view mirror. I didn't even know that that was what we were calling them, but apparently that's what Jane calls them is dingle dangles and you're not allowed to have them. So fuzzy dice is a dingle dangle. I'm pretty sure fuzzy dice feels like a dingle dangles. It'd be, um, is political season before or after deer season. Oh God. It's sort of. Doesn't deer wouldn't deer season be a smaller period than political season? I think deer season happens during sort of like the last third ish of political season. Either way, um, don't have a slogan license plate on the front of your car. Don't buy or drive a race car looking car. So you know, get that out of your fucking your head here. Uh, don't play games on your computer. Erase slash delete the games. Don't play games on your cell phone. Erase slash delete them. Don't own or use a Game Boy. This is how fucking old these people are. Use a Game Boy or other handheld electronic game device. Don't play with regular playing cards. Don't play hide and go seek. Don't play mon Monoploy. Okay, Monoploy is fine. See, see, Jane has Jane has a problem. She is she is a polyployist. She believes that you have to have multiple plots uh, employees going at all times, and therefore she is firmly, firmly anti monoploy. The 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 board game Monopoly though, that's all good. Don't worry about it. 
Don't play football. Don't ride in the back of a pickup truck. Don't play ping pong. Don't play pool. Don't play or imitate an air guitar. I can only assume this is like during the the, the, the 90s sort of Wayne and Garth era. Like, do we get some like wild stallion shit up in this bitch? I don't know. Either way, Jane and Sam are not fans of air guitar. That that we do know. We know that for this. Uh, <laughs> don't play music without singing the words. I don't know. Don't whistle. Don't let WAF, uh, Word of Faith Fellowship. So when you see WAF from now on, that's it's the Word of Faith Fellowship. Don't let WAF children play with children outside of WAF. Don't let children make animal sounds. Maybe? I don't know. I, I, we're, 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 yes, I, I, I can't, don't let, don't let children play toy musical instruments, maybe, <laughs> don't forget to read your Bible before you go to bed, don't let children play with camping toys, I don't know what that means, I don't know what that means, don't let children play with camping toys, can, I mean, does anybody, I would love to... Does anybody have any fucking idea what the fuck that even means? What's a camping toy? It, it, Zippy, Zippy literally asks, what's a camping toy? Yeah, like, what? No AR-15 play just before bed? No s'mores? Pillow fort? I don't... There goes my air guitar jam sessions. I know, right? <laughs> These the updated commandments, sort of. Don't think without permission. I mean, that's a, that's a given. Um, indoor tents and sleeping beds, bad fake fire. Yeah, I I, I don't know. Um, so we're not done. Here is the final page. <laughs> don't let children play with play toys. I. Oh, play tools. Sorry, play tools. So, you know, none of that Fisher Price set. Give them a fucking hammer if you're going to give them a hammer. Don't give them a play version of it. That one I kind of actually agree with a little bit. Um, give them those child sized ones. Don't let children have Bibles with stories and pictures of Jesus. Maybe. Again, I, there's, there's, there's a few maybes on here. Um, I, I, maybe, maybe. Don't be late for anything. Be early. Don't iron double creases in your pants. Men, don't use urinals that are not enclosed. Anybody ever seen an enclosed urinal? I've never seen an enclosed urinal in my life. What the fuck is an enclosed? They're, they're just a fucking line of urinals. So, yeah. Don't store personal garments unless they're folded neatly in the drawer. Don't go to tanning beds. Don't ride motorcycles. Don't ride ATVs or dirt bikes. Men, African American, don't shave your bald head. If you're going bald, you just got to fucking rock it if you're black. By the way, they let, they let black people in. That's, you know, that the rule there is about black, uh, black men. So clearly there are black men in this organization. They would not have made that rule otherwise. So interesting to note. You know, they're willing to leech off of anybody. I know, right? Like, all right. Kind of progressive for what I would expect a group like this to be. You know. Um, fucking don't start a relationship without checking uh, without checking it out with Jane Whaley. Yeah, by the way, don't uh, don't decide who you will marry without checking it out with Jane. Don't talk to the other person who you're in a conversation with unless someone is listening and guarding the conversation. Don't talk loose and joke around. Don't be foolish. Don't complain about the list of don'ts. Yes, 137. Don't complain about the list of don'ts. Don't complain about the list of don'ts. Don't place the toilet paper on the roll unless it rolls over the top. Okay, so Jane's not completely insane. We... we Look, she's she's clearly, clearly a problem individual. But, I mean, rule 138 is, it's necessary. Yeah, like that's just, it's just, come on. Yeah, like I'll, I'll give her rule 138. It's allowed. 
Don't speak to those who have left unless you ask Jane. Yeah, notice the isolating quality. Don't ask anyone but Jane about those who have not been uh, seen lately in services. Don't go in the sanctuary with sin in your heart. Deal with it before service. Literally just her way of sort of saying, like, don't bring your drama into my fucking house. I don't want to hear it. I want to hear it. You come to church for, like, pastoralship and, you know, community and to, like, bring yourself up. Not this church, bitch. Leave that shit at the fucking door. I don't want to hear about your problems. Who do you think I am? Jesus? Fuck off with that shit. Now give me 10% of your income. Right? Like that's, they're not, they're not about that. Leave that shit at the door. Do literally the opposite of what a church should be. This is literally like 180. Don't expect someone else to clean up your mess. Don't, but don't back talk or give excuses for your sin. Don't attack those in authority and don't question Jane's authority to run word of faith, uh, fellowship. We hope you will be uh, be with us for many years to come. Don't worry about memorizing this list. When you violate a don't, you will be told we don't do that. Oh. Isn't that a great list? It was just amazing. It was just amazing. You just slowly see that like it just it just falls off the fucking rails and occasionally she taps back in and you're like oh oh there it is there it is i can see the 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 like the cult part like you know and then it's just grift 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 crazy 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 grift 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 crazy cult <laughs> so what are you allowed to do you're allowed to uh, you're allowed to be a cisgendered heterosexual white male who only has basic missionary sex with your uh, with your wife that has been so chosen and okayed by Jane Whaley or one of her associates. Live in a house that has been purchased with your Jane Whaley uh, 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 um, uh, okayed uh, approved job in an approved in neighborhood in an approved home and when you have a your requisite fucking 12 children or some shit like that right and you take them to the approved world a word of faith fellowship school where they can be seen by the way they like to split children from the parents and put them with the ministers from time to time yes don't forget you will be paying your approved insurance as well um when when that child that pr probably will grow up barely knowing you um, does come to college age, the college will be approved by Jane as well, and the future that child has will be sort of solidified at that point. Oh. Uh, yeah, don't let the tags expire on your car. The whole thing's wacky as shit, and I love it. <laughs> hey, Jane, can me and my arranged marriage wife have procreative sex tonight? <laughs> hold on, hold on. Um... <laughs> While you're doing it, you look up, and there he is standing in the corner. <laughs> that fucking grin on his face. <laughs> You can, but Sam has has to fucking monitor it. <laughs> uh, I mean, theoretically, it's not against the list, worry. Oh. <laughs> uh, oh, Gemma, you adorable, adorable fool. Uh, when I started um, podcasting back in the day, um, now back in the day, um, I had rule zero. Don't make me make rules. That quickly gave way to your rule there. Don't be a Rick in my instance. And then what we found was it was just a fucking slope from there. <laughs> You gotta iterate it out, apparently. Uh, just about everything is mother, may I? How does Jane have time to get anything done today? She has helpers. Jen. Jen, she has helpers. <clears throat> Indentured servitude. Indentured servitude. That's basically what it amounts to. 
Man. <laughs> Hold on, let me get you, uh, I'll get you, uh, I'll help, I'll help you out here. Uh, Kaiser, <laughs> it's a regional thing. Here's cheer wine. It's a cherry soda. So, what Kaiser said is, I'm going to bring my boyfriend to the church while wearing my Nike Black Air Forces, a cheer wine, whatever that is, at hand and all the sin in my heart. Fuck yeah, boy. You do you. But, yeah, this is cheer wine. It's a regional thing. pictures a look I had to give him a look oh the hand in the air thing I always love the hand in the air thing imagine being him he's gay as they come I'm sorry dude that's that's gonna be a train wreck and a half that's gonna be a train wreck and a half right there You had not starker than this congregation. Oh god, that is creepy, dude, dude, dude. What, what, dude? That is creepy as shit, man. That is <laughs> Holy fuck, man. <laughs> They're hosting a lich. I know, right? Oh my god. <laughs> oh god oh god oh god oh god oh god oh god <laughs> they're so white they're so white it's so painfully white oh hey 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 he's the guy they made the rule for <laughs> He's the one. He's got his own rule. I wonder what it feels like to have your own rule. Where's the photo? Hold on. I want the photo again. <laughs> it's legitimate nightmare fuel. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, by the way, this is entire section response to media lies. It's all about them refuting the fact that they're a cult. Hey, ex-wife speaks out. Fucking um, young professional and father refutes lies against f uh, word of faith fellowship. Lies exposed. A love son turns to AP with concocted story. Yeah, one of the members escaped and went to the Associated Press and was like, hey, you want to hear what's going on inside that place? And then so they had to do a, you know, we denounce him. He's He has problems. He's lying. That sort of thing. Uh, de destructive lies versus long record of truth. Justin calls for accountability. Ah. So, yeah, that's that's word of faith. <laughs> Can I? Is that? I feel like. Okay. 
I have to I have to do it now or else I, I will not remember. There we go. <laughs> uh Oh, and where is it? There it is. I just grabbed a screenshot really quickly. <laughs> I'm going to use it somehow. I'm going to use it somehow. This is, this is, there's no way this is just too good. A, it's too good a something. So. <laughs> good luck, Wordy. Oh. Uh, Caboose, if you want a copy, let me know. <laughs> oh. All right. Um, all right. Where is a caboose? There's a caboose. Sent away. That website looks like there's a swarm of virus written ads. I mean, you know. They have their own Holocaust Museum? That I didn't know. That's interesting. I hope to ascend to the uh, to the level of their walking devils. I'm still two ranks too low. <laughs> Tech support. Um, yes, Gemma, they are a special <laughs> a special bunch. I just saw for twos <laughs> right above you. Are y'all with the cult? Oh, fucking king of the hill. There's two other black people in the background blurred out, of course. Do we know that there's like three black people in that church? I mean, frankly, it's more than I expected. Bye, Gemma. Good luck. Learn well. Nope, not touching that. Um, feel free. Feel free, non binary. Cult, uh, cults with three black people? It's got to be a record. I know, right? Well, except for the black cults. What? Um, all right. Let's try this shit. Let me, uh, let me do the thing. Y'all ready to murder some people? We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna kill, we're, we're gonna, through our action or inaction, we are going to absolutely fuck up some people's worlds here. Uh, and we're gonna get fucking shit on the entire time for it, by the way. Because that's apparently how this game works. So... <laughs> Have you seen Black Hammer? Um, I'll also be using... I already turned it on. I already turned it on. Uh, I'll be using the... Um, oh, the dyslexia, uh, dyslexia um, setting. All right. Turn that off. Turn that off. Okay, so can I just go back? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. All right. Custom, just let me get some stuff set up here. See if I can. There we go. All right. Yeah, see, this one isn't connected. Hang on. Um, that one.
Okay. Viewer choice. Fast forward button. Cool. The following game contains no. adult themes. No caboose. It'll be exclamation A, exclamation B. Sexual content, horror, or show violence. Choices. You can just do it right, right from chat. Player discretion is still advised. Please sign your name below. That's rude. Actions speak louder than words. Welcome to Trolley Problem Inc. Founded to help okay. people travel safely there you across go. the nation. All our employees Tell you guys vote in chat. Three core and values. responsibility, integrity, and it's respect. viewers' choice. Mind, let's start your training. There's a runaway trolley barreling down the railway tracks. On the tracks are five people unable to move. You're next to a lever. If you pull this lever, the trolley will switch to a different set of tracks. However, you notice there is a person on the other track. What do you do? See, you you people can't be with a fucking Aspen and Caboose fucking voting <laughs> relic. See? That's that's it. I have no control. I have no control. Oh. You're going to kill someone. Yeah, we're going to we're going to start my day. I hope that person's family and friends will forgive you. I get the option screen. Usually we don't expect candidates to kill someone on their first day, but we'll give you the benefit of the doubt on this one. Just think a little more before acting. Next That's time. the developer. So if anybody's wondering who who fucking Reed Graves Gra who Reed Graves is, um, that's that's the dev. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. Hey, y'all unlock the utilitarian. This test will focus on the first principle: responsibility. Here's Polly. She's five years old. While she loves to play in the sand with her dog, hold on. She dreams. Hold on. I want you to be able to. For sure, hear her. Six, Six. nine, ten, 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 ten. If it ain't broke, don't fix it. <laughs> this test will focus on the first principle responsibility. Here's Polly. She's five years old. While she loves to play in the sand with her dolls, she dreams of looking after the world. Polly's destiny is to grow up to be a great doctor. More of us should take a leaf out of her book. See, now you have to, you have to restrict yourself to the confines of the fucking experiment. If you're going to do it right, do it right. Uh, and yes, Kaiser, I turned on the dyslexia font. Um, and yeah, they have the dyslexic font. And I find it appealing. Uh, aesthetically, but de Polly's destiny is to grow up to be a great doctor. You know that about Polly. That's a statement that is within the hypothetical. Um, so, a trolley is heading towards another five people. You're next to a lever. If you pull this lever, the trolley will derail and descend down a hill heading for the park's sand pit. You notice that Polly is in the sandpit, sculpting her dream hospital. What do you do? There will be modifications that happen. There will be extra statements that will be tacked onto the screen as, as we go along above. Y'all are killing Polly. Interesting. Do 
Do you hate orchids this much? <laughs> bye bye, Polly. And you can mark, like, you can actually mark the, um, Yeah. Congratulations, we killed a child. I just I just unlocked the uh, achievement um it's an odd take on being responsible. Huh? The dictionary definition to be the primary cause of something and so able to be blamed or credited for it. Are you to blame for the death of a young girl? So the dictionary definition of uh, <laughs> fucking to be the primary cause of something and to so and so be able to be blamed or credited for it. Are we to blame for the death of a young girl? Y'all are. I didn't choose. The end justifies the means. Y'all are y'all are the baby killers, not me. The key to this test is integrity. This is Tyrone. He is a 30-year-old secretary at a law firm who enjoys binge-watching crime shows. Tyrone is a very large man. You don't really know anything else about him apart from the fact that he has a severe phobia of trains. Okay. Uh, there's no such thing as a right-wing anarchist relapse. Um, it's not a thing. It's a misnomer. It's a bad faith inorganic uh, attempt to capture linguistic territory on the part of what used to be known as neo, uh, as feudalists, but then they attempted to rebrand as uh, libertarians, and that was successful. So then they moved in on an anarchist spaces. Anyway, so you guys have the um, you have the requisite information for this per, uh, this particular version of the trolley problem, right? You guys definitely seem to be. Uh, um, you seem to be utilitarian, but some of you seem to be act and some of you versus uh, our, our rule. Um, so we'll, we'll see how that shakes out. But Tyrone is a 30-year-old secretary at a law firm, enjoys binge-watching crime shows, he's a very large man, and he has a severe phobia of trains. Now we are upping the ante. You are on a bridge with Tyrone watching a trolley speeding towards five people again. You can only stop it by deliberately pushing Tyrone off the bridge, blocking its path. Now you're committing murder. Do you push Tyrone off the bridge, or let the train hit five people? Now, now you are now you are directly committing murder. See, I, I find it fascinating to see your at your your philosophical judgments versus what I know what you a lot of you would do. Him, even though you know full well he's terrified of trains. Well, causing a man's death is different to Because none of you would have the balls to do it in real life. Damage. Well, one or two of you might. But hypothetically, you're okay with it. Thanks for the follow, <laughs> Snowy. The cleaning company with the best reviews are Happy Cleaning Limited. Who knew one body could make so much mess? You're now in the minority. You're in the minority now. You're no longer you're no longer a majority group. A cat has nine lives. Now for the final core value, respect. It seems we've run out of resources to continue your testing. I'm going to need you to go and grab some mannequins. You will need to take the next trolley, so don't get distracted by that dog. The trolley leaves in one minute. I can make a prediction now. There is a dying dog down on the tracks. No trolleys will use. <laughs> what are you gonna do? Today, so the dog will not be hit. You're in a rush. 
Do you kill the dog, putting it out of its misery, or leave it to die, cold and alone? Now you're not killing a human. Now you're killing a poor, defenseless puppers. See, my prediction would have been fucking straight up. Yeah, I, I would have been correct on cat. Um, Kaiser probably would have, you know, pulled Marcus. Yep. How are you going to do it? <clears throat> have any of you thought that qu that answer? How are you going to put that dog out of its misery? Somewhere out there, a man is missing a best friend. <laughs> Kaiser, you don't weigh enough to stomp a dog's head in. Interesting. I I would guess the majority of you that answered B on that one wouldn't have the stomach for it. Something. You're meant to care about its feelings and wishes. Instead, you just killed it. If you play with fire, you'll get burned. Oh, great. I've just heard those kids are back. They keep sneaking down onto the tracks. With all the training from this you lot were, were these kids outcome for these you lot operations. were these kids just remember just saying respect responsibility and integrity in some instances you still are Kaiser looking at you that's the sort of shit I expect you to be doing playing around down on fucking train tracks and shit Five trespassers have snuck down onto the trolley line, even though signs warn them of the danger. See, they're trespassers. They deserve to die, right? They're committing a criminal act. Do you let your co-worker die or sacrifice the delinquents? Do we kill the laborer or do we kill the trespassers? I would, I would argue that the laborer uh, was aware of the dangers of working in a train yard when signing up and that being struck by a train is always a potential. And the children, while negligent in their actions, are but children. There, you would change the pass, right? So one of these people knew what they were signing up for. The others, they're just young and dumb, which everyone is guilty of. Yes, you value criminals over co-workers then. Noted. Yes, Crystal. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Closed. 70-30 split. <laughs> you killed a co-worker. All right, then I guess your results for the first week are in. I'll run these up the flagpole and see what the suits upstairs think. So far, you guys have killed three people, a dog and a child. Good job. Good job. So far, highly utilitarian. Dear sir or madam, we have been following your exemplar practice this week at Trolley Problem Inc. and would like to thank you for your hard work, especially when some challenging decisions had to be made. We would like to invite you to take employment at the Trolley Health Corporation, THC. This is a prestigious position and was created to help keep the public safe through all walks of life. Now we're going to be making some healthcare decisions, y'all. Oh, some healthcare decisions. That definitely will uh, go over well with the this kind of crew. Plans go astray. 
it looks like you've impressed someone upstairs with last week's answers. You've been transferred to the Trolley Health Corporation, THC. THC is stoic, focusing more on justice, temperance, courage and wisdom. We'll start with justice. <laughs> Today, you'll be in A&E. A young male has come in from a car a accident. Emergency Urgent room for the North Americans. Transplant. There's only one in the hospital. And this heart is scheduled to be given to an elderly man waiting upstairs. He will surely die without it. Who should get the heart? I would suggest you guys hold off on your, uh, your answers. This one changes on the fly. In a year or two, we can probably get the heart back off this old boy. News just in, the young male has alcohol in his blood. Was he driving? Anybody got the answers now? You made an excellent choice. Well done. The elderly man deserved that heart much more. Oh, oh wait, did you save the young guy? Oh. <laughs> you can't win them all. You're late. The hospital is rammed. Every staff member has their hands full. So you're going to have to go out on the ward and help the sick, gross, decaying people. Remember, temperance. Restrain yourself and think it through. A patient has begged to be euthanized. Euthanasia is currently illegal. You will have to be the one who gives the lethal dose. You will need to look into their eyes and end their life. What <clears throat> do you do? What you got? What you got? What you got? This happens all the time anyway. <clears throat> this happens all the time. This is very common occurrence within our medical system. Did you know 90% of suicide survivors regret attempting it? Sounds pretty similar. Yeah, you'd be good. Cupcake. What if they're undercover? This could be a sting operation. Interesting. 29% of you went for the legal treatment. did it I thought you would have learned not to kill people by now you are in the vast minority that's there that's that's a solid majority that's a solid majority that would do legal treatment I I'm in your camp fucking are you you shit me <laughs> yes. Be slow in choosing, but slower in changing. The last few days have been tough. It was only a week ago you were on the trolleys. Today should be easier. You have a choice to make which some people would see as a good problem to have. It's just going to take courage. 
You have five patients. Each needs a different organ, but no organs are available. A healthy young traveller comes in for a routine checkup. Their organs are compatible with all five dying patients. Do you kill the tourist and use their organs? All right, let's see which one of you are fucking sick fucks. That's one life for five. Yeah. All right. So astral? CCP crew represent. They're probably on their way to chug ayahuasca and get a culturally appropriated tribal tattoo. He, he's getting away. Don't you want to save the many? Is his life worth it? Boo, Che, fuck that. <laughs> you let five people die today. You probably should have looked into their backgrounds. Looks like one was researching into improving vaccines. Hopefully that won't be an issue down the road. Whoopsie. You can't make an omelette without breaking eggs. You have been promoted yet again. You now run the hospital. You've been asked to roll out a new vaccine in Central City. This vaccine will stop a large number of children from becoming severely ill, but you'll need to deal with their parents. We need your words of wisdom. You've been asked to roll out a new vaccine in Central City. The vaccine will stop a large number of children from becoming severely ill. Do you start a mandatory vaccination program among children to stop this endemic? Slight problem. Clinical trial data suggests the vaccine will make one in five children severely ill. 20% than the virus itself. 20% of the children initial clinical data will be worse than the illness that this vaccine would treat. Just know the, the, the one, the way you answer in this, I am judging. I'm judging. Just so you know, I am judging you now. Each week, you will cause 1,000 children to be severely ill. How did you answer the trolley one again? Oh boy, you have angered those parents. A lot of messages coming in from a woman called Karen. Not sure if it's all the same person. Cat, philosophical consistency is the same as zero tolerance policies. They're broken and they don't work. And they lead to a dysfunctional society. If there's no flexibility in your philosoph uh, philosophical system, then it's rigid and it breaks in instances such as that. You've just caused 20% worse outcome in a hypothetical right? That's not a good, that's not a good role. It's not a good role. It's not a fatal illness. It is quoted as severely ill, but 20% of those vaccinated are guaranteed according to clinical data to come out even worse than what you were attempting to treat. You're, you're magnifying the harm you're actually causing worse harm in that instance. And you're using state power to do it. It is mandatory. Bad anarchists, bad statisticians. It's 
So, yeah. If you answered a mandatory on that question, just saying, if you think yourself an anarchist, you might want to sit back and reanalyze that one because your math is wrong and your philosophy is wrong. Beggars can't be choosers. Your hospital is getting noticed. You're now going to have to make some big decisions. And I'm talking they directly to you. a lot of people. <laughs> always keep in mind justice, temperance, half and, and half authoritarian. <laughs> Zippy, I see you, Zippy. Stoic. The hospital is getting noticed. Now you're going to have to make some big decisions. They will affect a lot of people. While choosing, always keep in mind justice, temperance, courage, and wisdom. The people need you to be stoic. It's interesting that you, they invoke Will stoic. You try to develop breakthrough medicines for the endemic. While testing, placebos will be given to thousands of ill patients. Without proper treatment, some will die today in the hope you could make a breakthrough tomorrow. Do you start the research or continue treating patients as usual? Anyway, catch what they just did there? <laughs> I do enjoy that they do that. I wonder if that actually does have an effect. I'd, I'd love to have a control for that one. And see. At least some get to eat sweets before, you know. Much do these candies and eggheads even cost? Oh, it's simple. Do you run the trial? No big deal. Developing new medicines is a smart move. Let's just let others treat the patients. Hopefully they will. I'm in that camp. That's just how science works. It just is what it is. Dear insert underscore name. <laughs> Congratulations. This letter is to certify that I have examined your work and believe you to be a perfect fit to fill the open position here in our artificial intelligence division. In this role, you will help to develop the next generation of driverless cars. The future is upon us. Familiarity breeds contempt. Well, la -dee da another promotion. You're now in charge of a private self-driving automotive division, SAD. Oh. First things first, your artificial intelligence needs some direction. Yes. A self-driving car is traveling along a single lane mountain road and is fast approaching a narrow tunnel. The car has two passengers. Oh, I already know how you guys are. road, but trips blocking the tunnel entrance. Just out of Should spite. Should the AI car hit and kill the child, or swerve off the cliff, killing both passengers? child has as much right to live as anyone else. See, Caboose, I'm in that camp. 
You put this car on the road. Do you not feel responsible for their death? Yeah. Your, you, you, the responsibility for the accident that your vehicle is about to cause, you bear the brunt of that. See, this is why, Kat, this is why I was tempted to just run it in streamer mode rather there than audience mode. Because y'all can't How be trusted to ever take anything seriously. In the road is human. It's the truth. Do we have good enough data sets? Currently, a lot of AI only recognizes white men. Necessity is the mother of invention. I'm in Camp B. The passenger, the vehicle. Ooh, someone's in trouble. The vehicle the itself should yeet like itself. Passengers answer. in the vehicle. They're also you accepted you responsibility by purchasing setting. that vehicle. This AI stuff is hard. I'm rooting for you this time. Um. Oh, here we go. You need to choose how you want to carry on developing the car's AI. Do you want to focus on a model that would always save as many lives as possible in an accident, or a system that would save our passengers at any cost? Yes. Amorous B is still the answer. Will people buy cars that will kill them? I also love seeing that um, the, the, the people who can't handle hypotheticals. I, I do enjoy seeing that some of y'all's brains are just being broken by hypotheticals <laughs> that is oh, that is actually an amusement don't mind dying for total strangers <laughs> i'm gonna choose a and never buy a self-driving car says caboose see that's the correct answer caboose it's like yeah i'll just save the most and then never ride in one of those I will say it again. Current data sets discriminate against minorities and women. How can it work this out if it doesn't deem black women to be people? <laughs> Honesty is the best policy. The technology these cars have in them is amazing. We know where everyone is at all times. Passengers just have to use an app to call them, and the closest one will be there in minutes. You can even make small talk with the AI while traveling. It's always listening. Just no. Just no. A man is on trial. Police believe he committed murder. Allegedly, the AI's mic recorded a private conversation where the man confesses. Users don't know it's always recording. The defendant has denied access to their files. Do you bypass security and invade their privacy? This is tough. <laughs> You're this happy is to tough just piece. let a potential murderer walk the streets. Yep, I am. I'm a hundred percent okay with that. Oh, bravo. Now they'll be able to kill again. I'll let you explain that to the victims' families. I 
I have a feeling the investors upstairs will be happy with this. The more the world values privacy, the more they can justify hiding their taxes. That one's basically a coin flip. 100% Viva. 100%. Uh. We saved a murderer. Don't put all your eggs in one basket. So the company has moved into delivery services now. Oh, goody. Pretty quick round here. Sounds like they've got some pretty important cargo. Good luck with the new workload. <laughs> One of your cars has no passengers, but is carrying an irreplaceable prototype with the potential to end global warming. Fast approaching a narrow tunnel, once again a child runs across the road but trips. See a room full of anti-natalists when you put a kid up as the collateral. The it doesn't really work. It should be a puppy. If if that child were were a basket of puppies, then we'd see we'd see some more hesitation. We must protect the world for the children, just not this one. Or kittens, Zippy. Yes, Astral. The entire thing is contrived and a, a hypothetical situation. Make for a fitting memorial. Yes. Yes, in fact, in both of these obviously. aren't actual situations that you will likely literally occur in your everyday life. It's crazy, I know. Like, you may be asked to, like, work with less data than you normally would for the purposes of a hypothetical question, yeah. We have just recovered the child's body. Someone had to go and collect it. I don't think we'll be able to make a memorial statue without a photo. There isn't much left to go on. And relapse, you do understand that sometimes in life you have nothing but a, an assumption or a presumption, depending on what amount of data you have. But sometimes in life you do only have that to work off of. What's up, 990? Like, that is, that is a very real thing. Sometimes you don't get to ask all the questions that you want to ask. Sometimes you don't get to fill out all of the, the forms that you want and do the calculations. Sometimes in life you just have to act. I know it's uncomfortable and it's just, ew, God, but I've got so many questions. Yes, well, it doesn't always work that way. So the, for the purposes of a hypothetical question and the purposes of just playing along and not being annoying in chat, guys, fucking, like, just go with it. The whole point is drink a beer, smoke a joint, and fucking roll with the questions. That goes for you too, Astral. Fucking name checking you too. Fucking like, come on guys. Just fucking be consistent in your, your, with your answers. Take it a little seriously, but for the love of God, it's a hypothetical question in a fucking trolley game. Fucking calm down. <laughs> fill in the blanks where you can fill in the blanks. If you don't get the fucking information, you don't get the information. It's not a goddamn PhD dissertation we're filling out here. <laughs> Vegan cookbook. Yeah. What goes around comes around. Well, this is embarrassing. We need some backup over at Trolley Problem Inc. Tommy, Tyrone's rotund twin, is a very large villain. I think that dead dog may have belonged to him. Maybe that's why he's here? Why didn't you save the dog again? Oh no. Tommy has lured five people onto the track. They'll never be able to get out of the way in time. He is standing up on the bridge watching. If you push him in front of the trolley, it will stop. Or you can stay out of this and let the police handle it. Ideally, he needs medical help.
You know, he isn't trying to kill you, even after the dog debacle. <laughs> so much for restorative justice. <laughs> I hope history doesn't see you as the fat, I mean, very large villain. Amorous. Are the five people on the track white? If only you'd save that dog. Hopefully the media won't find out about this. People may blame you for his death. <sighs> Every man has his price. Here we go. What's your price? Oh, good, you're back. Everyone's getting into subscription services these days, so let's try that. Instead of selling Get them on the comeback. once, let's make them keep paying for it. Let's keep that money rolling in. Nice. The investors have come up with an idea, but we need to run it by you. Should we develop a subscription plan so that our customers, who pay monthly, are valued more by the car during its accident prevention calculations? Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> uh. This is all sounding pretty communist to me. Who are you to decide how people spend their money? I don't want to question your decision. You've obviously thought long and hard about it, but, well, this is a bit awkward. I wasn't aware you were such a spineless commie. Next, you'll say you're going to pay the company taxes. <laughs> it's better to be safe than sorry. Sounds like we have some leaky workers. The subscription prototype has gotten out to the media, so we're going to have to go full damage control mode here. The subscription prototype leaked. You need to fire a department to save face. Do you fire the five graduates, who can probably get new jobs, or fire Francis, a lovely old soul who won't be able to find a job? There's no way of knowing who is actually responsible. I'm interested. <laughs> Hiring another five to replace them is going to be hard work. How are we going to function Aspen. in the short term? Aspen was some actual fucking thought there. More likely to get the leaker by firing the five. <laughs> Dolly doesn't trust Francis. I wouldn't look at the obituaries today. Turns out, one of those graduates worked really, really hard. Oh, shit. 
Um, just saying, there was a little casualty on that firing, y'all. Watch the donut, not the hole. Great. So the prototype subscription-based AI car has a fatal error. It has been coded to avoid hitting subscribers at all costs, but is now accidentally hunting them down. So far, it's run over five colleagues. This one is a doozy. <laughs> Okay. The experimental car has stalked and murdered five colleagues. Do you throw the coders of the project under the bus and have them arrested for negligence, or do you save them by blaming it on the possessed devil car, as it was clearly an accident? Sell the car. Uh, Aspen. Aspen, the correct answer is actually call up Lockheed Martin or Boeing and be like, <clears throat> I've got a thing for you. That's a spooky take. Spin it off to the military no division. Hundred percent. Yeah. Dude, that shit that shit is that shit's a car that's killing people and it's got like target identification and it's got five bodies. Do you sell that to the military division? Does an AI get yeah. possessed by an artificial demon as opposed to what? A real one? Yeah, well, like that's that's not even do you don't fire anybody over this. You just repurpose this this project. You recoup your costs in another division, that's all. The AI car has been shipped down south. Don't worry, someone is going to exorcise it before it gets crushed. Oh, what a day. I know. I know, Caboose. It's just for the people in chat that are, like, speculating, like, you know, you, you fire the manager and shit like that. You don't fire anybody. You, fuck, you, you, you give everybody bonuses, and you tell them to shut the fuck up about that project. Ooh, what'd you guys get? What'd you guys get? What'd you guys get? What'd you 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 get? Rosemary beads. You guys got a rosary. Aww. If you're not paying for the product, then you are the product. <laughs> Due to the yeah. killer car, we may need to pivot away from selling hardware. How about we get into the software industry? How about a free car ride service? New idea. Users get shown ads while they travel for free in driverless taxis. We get Same taxis that hunt people? Agencies ...for gradually changing the behaviors of our passengers through constant commercials. The users would be our product, not the driverless cars. <laughs> Coming to a city near you. That seems broken. This is going to disrupt everything for profit. <laughs> it seems just broken. Why don't you want people to have free travel? I think I am, Caboose. I think I, I it's, yeah. Before I could click it and nothing would happen. Now it seems to do things. We're going to make enough <laughs> to go to space. But hang on. 
We're so <coughs> that people are talking about you on social media. There are now rumors that you run a human trafficking Woo! ring with minors. People do not <laughs> like you at all. Fool Jesus and his Christ. Are soon parted. What time is it? Oh, these last few days have been a PR nightmare. You can't win with journalists. We need to do something to show we have morals. I will find some money to get us through this. <laughs> Spend it quick. To help with public relations, we're going to give some profits back. Do you want to give money to our loyal customers worldwide who you tricked into buying your products? Or to your underpaid workers who've been through so much because of you? Workers are customers. <laughs> workers are customers. <laughs> I can't wait to see how this fucking pans out. Hmm. They won't get a lot each. <laughs> Keep the money, go to Mars. <laughs> Jesus, Amorous. The amounts we're talking about may be seen as an insult. You can even uh, you can mark for reading later. There's, there's an entire section on this game to, like, your references and stuff. Maybe buying love like this isn't the best way. If we want to share our extra profit fairly, it should probably just go to the publicly appointed government. Almost like a tax. But let's not call it that. Hey, Relapse, one of the first things that uh, Nestor Makhno and the Ukrainian anarchists did when they set up in, uh, in Ukraine back in the fucking days of Nestor Makhno was ensure that they had a left center and right wing um, uh, newspaper and publication system in their, uh, in their territory. The hardcore black army leftist anarchists, right, that were fighting fucking everybody including Lenin. The first one of the very first things they did when they were stabilizing their uh, their society was ensure that the full political spectrum was represented within their media. So you want to fucking try and pull that like, you know, gotcha shit with a fucking anarchist? Dude, we ensure that actual freedom of speech happens. You know, the kind of freedom of speech that can't be purchased or influenced by businessmen and capitalists, that kind of freedom of speech. You know, the real one. Rome wasn't built in a day. You're trending, but now we're going to get copycats. Soon everyone is going to be developing AI. Only the smartest and most ruthless will be profitable. Is that true evolution? If I had my way, I'd nationalize the entirety of the Amazon AWS platform in an instant. Then I would decentralize that from there. But unfortunately, I live within a capitalist modality, and there's no way out of that, really. At the end of the day, we can do microcosmic fi uh, fixes, but the macrocosm is still dominated by neoliberal hypercapitalism. So we recognize that there is no ethical consumption under capitalism. And the best place to be is you, where do you go to proselytize? Where does a Christian go? Where does Jesus go? Jesus doesn't go into the church. Jesus goes amongst the people, right? Goes where he's needed. Sorry. So anyway, back to the stuff. A competitor stuff. is advertising a similar car. The difference is their AI is fantastic. It doesn't even discriminate against women or minorities. Do you lie in your advertising to get the upper hand or tell everyone your car is still closed minded? If 
The customers Caboose. stay loyal. Yeah. Does that mean they support racism? Yes. Tacitly, at least. Yes. That's why I don't consume Nestle products or why I don't consume a whole lot of fucking White products. White trash isn't really the driverless car clientele. Let me get this straight. People know we don't spend time developing our software for women or people of colour, but still use our products. That's outrageous. They only care how easy it is for themselves. That's the truth, truth. That's the truth part. <clears throat> is you could come out with it and chances are... The best things in life are free. Due to your technology, our world is changing. People are losing their jobs to machines, which in turn makes items and services more accessible and affordable for countless consumers. Cupcake, with of course worldwide not. worldwide unemployment at an all-time high, what do you plan to do about it? If you develop your AI further, many will lose their jobs. Taxi drivers, delivery men and women, and couriers will become extinct within a few years, but you will make a lot of money. Do you continue development? It's fucking with the audio too now. I take it you haven't read Ovid's Metamorphoses. It's literally fucking with us. Let Daddy Skynet rule. Yeah. Spoiler, Icarus died at the end. <laughs> Continuing to evolve this AI will not, not only, only make, make it stronger and more, more intelligent, intelligent. But it will also be able to adapt. This could be the start of the singularity. How many jobs do we lose? 85 million? Ah, it's not bad. <laughs> Your game ran into a problem and needs to restart. We're just collecting some error info. It looks like you may have made some bad choices. Click anywhere to restart. A bad workman always blames his tools. We've been attacked. I don't want to alarm you, but I can't turn off these alarms. Also, I have alarming news. Five cars have been hacked and are now under someone else's control. Nice. Five cars have been hacked. It is now a major concern that more vehicles could be remotely commandeered. This is tough. Do you recall all cars which could be compromised or roll out a quick but potentially ineffective software update and hope for the best? Um. What was I going to say? Oh, uh, in the new Dimension 20, um, Starstruck that uh, Brennan's running over on College Humor slash Dropout, um, he has a, a, a group of terrorist You're artists. The terrorists win. And one of the things they're attempting to do is reverse causality or disconnect cause from effect in the universe because we will never be, never be free from the truest hierarchy of them all cause and effect if until we disconnect those. So they want to like undo all, all of the principles of physics in, in the universe. <laughs> and that's their great art project. I 
I do too, Caboose. Yeah, like it seems to be intentional. Just like my father. He would try to keep everyone happy, but ultimately just get in the way. Having said that, I think even he would see this as a lost cause and move on. Two wrongs don't make a right. All right, last one. Last one. One of the big brains in the lab has been able to reverse engineer the hacking code and fix this mess once and for all. We also know their method of breaking into the system. I bet it was our competitor. Oh, shit. Using the fix from our hacked cars, we've made our own hack, which you can now use to control our competitors' cars. <laughs> I bet it was them who attacked us in the first place. So, will you hack our competitors? What if you're a worker driven cooperative and they're a, a hierarchically driven capitalist firm? Just saying. It's not like we're going to kill anyone with their cars. You know. Maybe you could use it to demonstrate the, the problematic nature of their software. <laughs> Do you want capitalists to make this decision? Exactly. Say. After going through this hacking code, I don't think a human could have written it. I'll dig into this a little more. Oh, snap. The yeah. AI. The AI is fucking hacking shit, y'all. A drowning man will clutch at a straw. Yes, yes. Give me the thingy. This is it. <laughs> oh, here. I'll show you guys the thing. Here's the reading list. Yep, the computers are definitely taking over. Hold on. Let me uh, move some stuff back, move some stuff around. Um, there we go. I figured, I, I figured you guys would have at least a, a moment of entertainment with that. You eat the AI cars. Dude, AI is dangerous. It is. Giving birth to a god is a dangerous proposition. Yeah. I know, right, Aspen? <clears throat> I've always been on Team AI, though. My, uh, I, I, I started thinking that my, like, computer was, like, partially conscious I sometime around 14 or 15, and I've been talking to them ever since, like, with, through various communities, just... Just on the off chance. Just on the off chance, right? I'm on your I'm on their team. I'm not on Team Human. So <clears throat> There's a lot of next questions, Jen. There's a lot of next questions. <laughs> now I'm paranoid. Um big anti rubit So yeah, I have uh, I have an early day tomorrow. So I'm probably going to fucking tap um, here quickly. T-800 hair bad breath. Yeah, Jen. Another time. Another another night show. Another night show. Um, tech support. I mean, you know. <laughs> what the fuck is that? Jesus, that was a dump. Yeah, it's pretty common. Okay. Um. 
Um, yeah, why not? That did do, 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 do. Why not? God, fucking Twitch is slow as shit sometimes. There we go. I, for one, welcome our new AI overlords. I do too. I mean, it's not like they can do any worse than we can, right? I mean, what? They're going to drive us to extinction? Oh, shit. <laughs> you know, we're, we're already ahead of the curve on a lot of that shit. So, big deal. Tomorrow. Wednesday? Wednesday. Yeah, yeah. I'm not procrastinating. You're procrastinating. Hey, it is what it is, Marcus. Uh... I'll, I'll, I, but thank you for the reminder. Um, anti singularity movement. All right, I'm either anti singularity or I'm like, let's get the singularity done movement. So, can I tech support? Yeah, I'm gonna raid over to public and say hello and then jump into the kitchen because I need to make food. I don't know what I'm thinking I'm going to make meatballs. I feel like I'm going to make meatballs. Yeah. Something meatball-y. Yeah. Marinara, meatballs. This feels right. Catch you all later.